we saw where the Guyana Amazon Warriors continues to flop when it comes to finals. Their women team reached the final of the women's CPL, making it the sixth Guyana Amazon Warriors team to reach a final of the CPL. Once again, you could have bet on it. The Guyana Amazon Warriors, they flop, they choke at the final stage. Led by Ailey Machos, the West Indies, and Barbados Royal Captain, who made a brilliant 82 from 59 deliveries. Well supported by Rashado Williams, who made 36 from 23 deliveries. And the two of them had 108 runs for the second wicket, which were Rashada Williams hitting six fours and one six, and Ailey Matthews hitting 10 fours and two six in her 82 runs of 59 deliveries. The Barbados Royal put on 169 for seven of their 20 overs. When Rashada Williams was out playing the ramp and was out bold at 144, the, the Barbados Royals lost five wickets for five runs. But in the end, drew Amanda Jade Wellington with some big hit towards the end of the Barbados Royal innings, carried them to 169 for seven. Now the Guyana Amazon Warriors batting lineup was much touted. They are, they are touted as the best batting lineup in the tournament. And many expected that Guyana Amazon Warriors would have gotten this score. But before though, I must mention Ishmael, who took four for 30 for the Guyana Amazon Warriors when the Royals batted. So the Guyana Amazon Warriors started with their two big guns from New Zealand, Sophie Devine and Susie Bates. But Devine was soon gone. And although Bates stuck around and Campbell gave her some support, at no stage except for in the closing overs, one was worried that the Barbados Royal would have lost. With 20 runs required off the last over to be bowled by Ailey Matthews, Ishmael hit the first ball for four, and then she followed up by hitting the next delivery for six, bringing it down to 10 from four deliveries. However, she was out the next delivery. And finally, the Guyana Amazon Warriors completed their choking for the sixth time in CPL history.